Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to speak to you on a subject that is key to India's prosperity and humanity's future. Oceans have shaped our history and our outreach to the wider world across continents and centuries. India has a rich and glorious maritime tradition. The Indian Ocean is more than a geography for us. It is at the center for India's oceanic identity and aspirations. Friends, ocean economy is integral to India's overall economic development. We take a holistic view of blue economy. We are focused on the totality of the marine ecosystem across its multiple layers, including its preservation. Our ocean and the immense wealth of its marine resources. Over 2.1 million square kilometer of exclusive economic zone. Our 7,500 kilometers long coastline. And 1,300 islands. And our 14,500 kilometer network of inland waterways give us robots and rich platforms to build an integrated blue economy. In pursuit of blue growth, our focus is on existing and emerging futuristic oceanic activities and industries. We see oceans as a source of prosperity, clean energy, new medicines, and food security beyond just fisheries. True to our traditions, our actions will respect the ecology and environment of oceans. And we plan to do this with the help of cutting edge developments in marine biotechnology, fisheries, observation systems for coastal hazards, disaster management, and deep sea exploration for energy and minerals. Friends, blue economy will empower our people. Our National Sagarmala Program is a port-led model of development of marine ecosystem with focus on port modernization, enhanced connectivity, and a network of coastal economic zones building modern marine infrastructure and sustainable fisheries. More than 350 projects have already been identified that will create 10 million new jobs involving investments of 110 billion US dollars in the next decade. And through participation of all stakeholders, build a network of strong marine communities. I wish you productive deliberations and a successful summit.